Gravel bike versus hardtail is a video that we want to make, but we didn't have a hardtail. So today we are building a hardtail. This is a Scott Scale RC carbon frame, super, super light. And we're building it up with a variety of parts over here with Nick. Nick's here so we can just point cameras. Let's go. Hey, okay, Francis, you do realize that I don't build mountain bikes, so. You do today. I take no responsibility if this thing snaps in half and you die. How do you know that I've not been sent just to sabotage a mountain bike because, I mean, I'm the biggest gravel fan. Arguably alive. Prior to the formation of K Media, Francis already had a sponsorship with Scott. As part of that, they sent him what even is it? It's a mountain bike. They've sent him a hardtail mountain bike, of which we are building today. This is a sponsored video bike build video bike. I assume that goes on there. That's gotta be the same as a normal bike. What does a normal bike mean? Now I've already got a mountain bike, a full suspension Spark RC, and I want this bike to be really different. We're gonna go as light as possible. We have shorter travel. This bike is designed for 100 millimeters of travel. So we've got this RockShox super light fork. My other mountain bike is 120 millimeters of travel front and rear. This one is just 100 on the front. The 100 millimeters refers to the distance between here and here on the fork, which is how much the fork compresses. That'll mean that this bike has less travel. It won't be able to ride as gnarly terrain, but it is gonna be a lot lighter and a lot more aggressive when you're riding it. Closer to a gravel bike. Nick's favorite thing. The reason we want this bike to be as light as possible is to see how close we can get it to a gravel bike for when we do that video where we compare the two. Other notable things, we're mixing uh, SRAM and Shimano parts. It's, they're all 12 speed and they do work together and there are no rules. Any idea what we do with this? What is it? It's a piece, piece of rubber. It doesn't fit in any of the holes. It's a wedding ring, we are now married. What mood do you think Nick's in today? Put it in the comment section down below. <laughs> Oh, this is so scary. scary. How do you build bikes all day like this? This is like... That's nothing, it's 46 for bottom brackets. No, but not the... But like... The stress. I'm, I'm scared that this is gonna like snap or something. I do like this about mountain bikes. The holes are so massive that you don't need any guides or anything. Stuff just goes straight through like that. What's this for? It appears to be a gear out in there. Are you trying to tell me we're building a non-wireless We're not bike? all fancy and wireless like you. Nick. Everybody's wireless now. Is Have it? you seen the newest thing? There's no more mech hangers either. It's not. It's taken <laughs> Even that new SRAM group says unreal. 645 pounds for a cassette. <laughs> That's what you're gonna need for coming out of my gravel rides this year. It's expensive. Yeah in the beginning, but it's going to be much cheaper in the long run. That's not when you rip your frame, frame in half. No, I've got a titanium bike, mate. I'm breaking titanium frames. You're, you guys with your plastic bikes. A titanium frame breaks on its own, Nick. <laughs> You're already broken it. He usually he's behind the camera for a reason. I'm trying to speed the build up so we're not here until midnight like we were last time. So I'm not filming one of my videos and I'm, I'm the Sue chef mechanic and it's not going well all right i don't think it's broken the frame is quite clever it comes with two cups obviously top and bottom but it's got angles so you can add or slacken the head angle by 0 0.6 degrees depending which way around you put it in what setting have you put in made it steeper so essentially brings everything more upright faster but then descending anything really technical your bike will be a bit twitchy it'll be closer to a gravel bike than to a mountain bike you'll Full sus will have a massively slack head angle, which means the fork will stick out a bit further. Better for crazy descents. We have a nice new workshop here, but we seem to be missing a file. So Nick's improvised. Are you filming the aftermath of your mistake? Which was, you had one job, Jimmy, one job and you put both tires on backwards. It does the same thing. Both of them. Yeah, they don't do the same thing. It's, 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 no. it's extra grip. You wouldn't okay. know it's, it's, it's extra, extra grip. grip. You'll be almost as good as Tony off-road. I'm not making a mess. Grip. This is good for you. This is, it's good for your skin. Fancy Moisturizing. Fancy. Look at the state of that. All because your uh, attention to detail is unnecessary. Your attention to detail is Lacking. Lacking. I don't waste energy on it. That's the thing. Now, look at the state of that. Oh, it's, out. it's all slidey. <laughs> This is honestly one of the most disgusting things I've ever seen in my life. It's like, it's like a horror film. If this is one of the most disgusting things you've ever seen in your life, you haven't lived. 
Don't do it. Bit of an unusual choice here. Hutchinson have released their new 50 millimeter gravel tires. So we thought we'd put them on this bike just to try. These ones are the Touaregs. This is their kind of medium gravel tread, uh, but they're gonna be mega, mega wide. Plus 50 millimeters in inches. It's almost two inches. So not far off the 2.1 inch mountain bike tires that I have on my other mountain bike at home. Francis. Yeah. This is a cross country bike, is it? Yes. This is a cross country tire, is it? Yes. This is a gravel tire, is it? This one here is a gravel tire, yeah. So how do they differ? Historically, cross country tires would be a lot more knobbly than a gravel tire, because the gravel is for gravel. Cross country is for actual mountain biking where you're going over bigger rocks. But people like Nick have ruined gravel and taken people on mountain bike trail. So tire manufacturers came up with basically cross country tires branded as gravel tires, very slightly narrower. This is what will be traditionally called a gravel tire, the Touareg, which has got much smaller knobs on. Thank you, I feel educated. Excellent. If you use death grips, you have to hammer them on, otherwise there's, you know, there's always more space. It's not a sub nine, surely. Six three. Holy shit. 8.5. Two. Don't forget the two. No, the two will be when we change the expander to a staff angle nut. All right, let's take it outside. Outside, first ride on the new hardtail. I'm out with uh, Jimmy filming a separate video about something else. Might have already seen because this video might be going out afterwards. But I thought we'd give this one a quick test, make sure everything's tight, do some trails and a little bit of road, and just see what the bike feels like to ride. So far, sprightly. You can really tell it's super light compared to the other bike, the uh, the full sus one. So now we have a bike for our hardtail versus mountain bike video. It feels really, really great to ride off the bat. We're gonna make some changes before we do the comparison video. We're gonna put some cross country tires back on just so it's a pure cross country bike. We're not gonna put a dropper on because we want it to be fair to the gravel bike. And we're gonna go to the trails and see what they're like to ride head to head. Let us know which bike you think will be better on the trails. Subscribe to this channel for more builds and thank you for watching.